On April 11th, the creator's update for Windows 10 was released for everyone, kind of. Many new things were introduced, such as Paint 3D, which is a pretty fun way to pass some time. For Counter-Strike though, the most potentially exciting thing is Game Mode, a setting you can turn on through, well, the settings, that will pour more system resources into the games you play. This update was actually available for optional download before the release date, and Vodka Bulls Zero on Reddit benchmark CSGO before and after the update, with the after having Game Mode on, and noticed an FPS increase. At first, I was kinda skeptical. There was an article in February this year that actually benchmarked a ton of games you using this setting. While game mode is still pretty early, the author said it was kind of underwhelming as there was no FPS increase. However, they stated these tests were done on a clean PC, and that computers with a bunch of crap, like mine, may benefit from specifying more resources towards the game than other services. So I started testing. Here are my specs, for like the fifth time. Here are my CPU limited settings, and here are my GPU limited settings. Next is to get game mode working. I hope I'm not turning crazy. In PC settings, gaming, game mode, I have game mode on. I swear, I do. It's in blue. However, in CSGO, I found it actually wasn't enabled. And because of this, at first I got the exact same FPS benchmarks. What you actually have to do is go to the game bar tab, check the enable game bar setting and the full screen setting, and make sure on the DVR window that you're not recording in the background. Then in game, press the Windows key and G, and in the settings of this sub window, we can see that the game mode isn't checked. Check. And now, I was finally able to test. I think. Hopefully. Results, there is an FPS increase that isn't too big, and this for me was actually outweighed by the choppiness I felt. For Dust2 CPU Limited, I had a 5% increase in FPS, and for Nuke it was 3%. At this point, many may have already written this off as basically nothing, and for this amount of FPS, I'd probably agree. For GPU Limited benchmarks, there is a 3% increase for Dust2, and no increase for Nuke. This data aligns pretty well with Microsoft who said we can expect a 2-5% increase. However, a lot bigger of a factor to observe is background tasks. When we look into benchmarks comparing background tasks enabled and disabled, we see a large difference. The main problem for me was choppiness. It's pretty strange. I swear, I have DVR disabled. While it doesn't show in the benchmarks at all, I had this super duper annoying choppiness as if I was rapidly opening and closing my eyes. Because of this, I will disable this setting. As for my case, the benefits don't outweigh the negatives. For you, it may be different though. Let's find out. A very popular way to benchmark CSGO is to look at the FPS counter in the top left. Stop that. Along with this method, I'll discuss two other methods that I've used but I don't recommend. The first is Ulytical's FPS benchmark map, the one that was used in the Reddit post. I have a huge amount of respect for the map creator, and I constantly use Ulytical's other maps for all sorts of things in my videos, but I stay fairly distant from this map. Its best pro is the extreme convenience. Download the map, click the green button, and then open your console. The problem for me personally is with the FPS. I would like benchmarks that accurately depict performance I experience in active duty maps. And while Inferno and Nuke are really pushing it, I'm still not getting to the level of this map. It can be good to show FPS differences between settings, but I can't get a good idea of how these changes act in reality. If you just want to see if there is a change between settings, then this is probably pretty good. The second method I don't use is something I've covered before, time demo. In short, go into a map, type record demo name, run around the map, and then type stop. Disconnect from the map. In the console, type time demo and then the demo name. Wait for it to speed through it, and see the FPS that spits out at the end. This is better than Ulytical's map at showing FPS that's realistic to what you have in game, but it can still be a fair bit off from reality, as shown in my panorama video. I'd say this is the second best method, and its best characteristic is the computer running through the same demo every time. The best way I found is just running through the game live in benchmarking, and because of this mini tutorial, I never have to make a video about FPS again, right? First, find some legal way to obtain fraps. Next, wherever it is installed, go into the FPS tab and bind the benchmark key to whatever works for you. Change this directory to where you want your benchmark Excel sheets to save to. Launch CSGO and change your settings to be either CPU or GPU limited. If it's CPU limited, you make the graphic settings low, which puts more of the work on the CPU to push your FPS up. If it's GPU limited, you make the settings really high, which puts more work on the GPU. Load into a map. You can either kick all the bots and run around or have some bots. The bots being on your computer takes a bit of a shot at your performance, and I prefer running around so that I can make the benchmark more controlled with less randomness. Regardless of the method you choose, press your benchmark key wherever you want to start benchmarking, the FPS counter should turn a different color and then it should disappear. Now start running around or whatever you do. Whenever you're done, press the benchmark key again, and a white text FPS counter should pop up in the top right for like a second. Navigate to wherever the directory is here, and open the benchmark that was created last. Now, if you want to see the average FPS of the test, scroll to the bottom of the column and type equals AVERAGE in all caps, open parenthesis, A1, 
colon, and then the last cell with a number in it, like A103. You can also just type equals average with an open parenthesis, and then click and drag over all the numbers. If you want a place to organize a bunch of data, no worries. I made an Excel sheet template in the description. Download it, click the benchmark sheet, and copy and paste the benchmark numbers into the corresponding column below the bold text. Next, click the overall tab, and the average should be transported to the corresponding place. In conclusion, it appears that the game mode update for Windows 10 can make a difference, but it depends on your system mostly. Microsoft only expects a 2-5% to increase in FPS, but others got an absurd 29% increase. Note that their benchmarks were on a map that isn't realistic to real game FPS though. It probably depends on how well you manage your background computer tasks. I personally won't use it due to the choppiness I felt, but since I haven't seen others report the same issue, perhaps it's a me issue. Oh well.